Hey guys, my name is Felix. I'm a second year medical student studying here in Germany. And in the last couple of months, you guys have asked me several questions, which we are gonna answer and talk about in today's video. Sarah asked, Hey Felix, which subject should I choose in test IS exam for medicine? Okay, great question. The test for Ausländische Studierende, I would recommend that you choose the Haupttest and the module Mathematik, Informatik and Naturwissenschaften. Over the years, a number of med schools started acknowledging results from the test AS, for example, Göttingen, Hamburg or Heidelberg. And definitely try to study very hard for this test, because over average results can give you a grade point average boost of 1.0 points, which makes a huge difference with your application. Zaba asked, My younger sister also wants to do MBS in Germany, but the main barrier is the German language. Is there any public university which provides medical degrees in English for international students? I've gotten this question so many times. But at this point in time, there is not a single medical faculty offering medical tuition in the English language. Your only option, as this is very attractive for international students, of course, would be to go with private institution, which do offer medical tuition in English. Some of those schools would be the medical school Kassel, the UMCH in Hamburg, and the Medical University of Neumark am Meeresch. But as those are not public institutions, you will be charged around 12,500 euros per semester. Ahmed asked, can I contact you for more questions? And yes, you absolutely can. Just go to my Instagram page, Felix the Doctor, and write me a DM. Please allow for some time for me to get back to you as I might be studying for an exam, but I'll do my very best to get back to you timely. Oge asks, what are my chances of getting into medical school with a nursing degree? He's studying in England and would want to go to do medicine in Germany. Of course, predicting your guys' chance of admission is extremely hard for me. But generally speaking, the fact that you studied something at a university in another country does not directly translate so that you can apply for medicine in Germany. If your high school leaving diploma is recognized by the German examinations office, such as A-levels, the international IB or Matura, then you can apply without any issues. If not, you most likely be asked to do one year of studium colleague before you can enroll. But applying and being admitted, of course, is not the same. Then your prior academic education will come in very handy in order to separate yourself from the competition. Ali asked, does studying in medicine in Germany entirely depend on the students' grades? Or like Russia, can international students repeat the last year of high school or not? Yes, unfortunately this is the case. You cannot repeat the last year of high school in order to work on your grade point average. Your high school grades are the most important indices for the success of your admission. Loi asked, Can I bridge from nursing school to medicine or even complete additional years or do I have to start from the beginning? I know that there are some countries which have a system in place where you can bridge directly from nursing to medical school so that you can skip the first couple of years of med school. Unfortunately, Germany is not one of them. So it will be the full six years for each and every one of you. But of course, knowledge that you may have from a prior education will always come in handy even in med school. Yuki asked, Is it possible to do medicine in Germany after a bachelor's in psychology from India? If yes, is there any entrance exam I should give? Well, we have talked about the test RS and the TMS before on this channel. And I would still recommend that you give both of them a try. But some universities even offer their own entrance examination. Another option would be the Hamnat, which is widely accepted even across other universities. The Hamnat, which originated from a university in Hamburg, focuses on scientific and biological knowledge. Cassius asks, for the medicine master's program, are they taught in English or in German? The medical master's program, we call it the Facharzt Ausbildung, you will do after graduating med school and it usually takes place in German. Not because you won't find any skilled mentors who can teach you in English, in fact, most of them will be international themselves. But in the end, you will need to sit the Facharztprüfung at the medical board in German anyways. So if you only learn the English names for the diseases and conditions, you would run into serious issues here. And of course, you will need to see patients during that time and communicate with them efficiently. Just don't do it. It'll be problematic. Gurbu, Gökbüru, 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 G
I got 77% marks in 12th grade. Am I eligible to get admission in medicine? Okay, friends, you see, I get so many questions like, oh, this is my grade point average, how are my chances of admission? And the truth is, I just don't know. If I did, I'll be a rich man. This heavily depends on your grade point average, your home country, if you're EU or non-EU, your prior education, what high school di diploma you have, where you're going to apply your competition. I just can't look into every grading system in the world and try to translate it to the German system in order to give you an answer. I just don't know. I hope you understand. Elena asked, does the University of Cologne accept B2 level German speakers for medicine? And what minimum IB score do I need to directly apply without studying colleague? Generally speaking, you will need to obtain a C1 language proficiency or equal qualification before applying, so that you can start studying in the German language at the beginning of the first semester. There may, however, be some exceptions to this, where you can apply with the B2 level but will be required to do your C1 at a later point in time. And after all, medical training involves a lot of patient interaction and insufficient language skills, unfortunately, will make it very hard for you to work with patients or professors. This should do it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. And thanks for standing me until next time.